You know, a lot of these altcoins are really designed as Ponzi schemes. So they do very, very well at the beginning, but then as you get closer to the middle phase, maybe that's even only a couple months since the launch of the token, you realize that you need more suckers to come in and rescue you from the coin's tokenomics. So the very early people who get in, the founders of the token do really well, but anybody who gets in six months, a year later, is basically providing exit liquidity for the founders. I think that there's this sort of fractal pattern, this uh, of Bitcoin, where you know at 13, 2013, it, it it looked it looked expensive when it hit a thousand dollars, and then you know in 2017 when it hit uh, ten thousand dollars, it looked very expensive, you know, and now here at fifty six thousand dollars, it looks very expensive. So it always looked, and I think it'll look expensive when it hits. $500,000, um, which I think it will. With the rise of altcoins, people are jumping into these new cryptocurrencies from left to right. The big problem is most of these currencies are designed to drain you of your money while the founders enjoy profit. Stick with Bitcoin. That's the latest message out from mathematician Fred Krueger. While warning about the dangers of altcoin, he also shared some exciting news about Bitcoin and how it easily beat any altcoin in existence. Make sure to stick around until the end of the video as Fred Krueger reveals why he thinks Bitcoin will continue to outperform altcoins and could even go up to $500,000 very soon. Also guys, only a small percentage of my viewers are actually subscribed. If you enjoy staying up to date with finance content, consider subscribing or liking the video. It's free and you can always change your mind. Now, here's Fred Krueger with his helpful insight. All right, so a lot of people are saying, hey, Fred, we're about to go into a bull market and uh, you really need to go for this alt season because you're gonna be able to get the same return as Bitcoin, but like multiply by two, right? Why, why do you wanna be in Bitcoin when you can be in these like super high octane altcoins? Well, I put together 10 reasons why I think you should just stick to Bitcoin only. And here they are. The first reason is if you look over the last four, over four year period or longer, you will find that all altcoins go to zero against Bitcoin. Um, now it's true that, you know, over a year you can see something like Solana do really well, but you know, over longer periods of time, all altcoins go to zero against Bitcoin. It's inevitable. It's what happens. It's a statistical behavior. Even the darlings like Ethereum um, are going to zero against Bitcoin. Ethereum was a hot against Bitcoin in 2017, and it's never reached that high again. Okay, the second reason is if you buy an altcoin and it starts going down, you are going to very quickly lose your conviction for that altcoin. So, and you'll probably sell it at a loss. And... You know, we don't know the future, but if we have conviction about Bitcoin, we can withstand these dips. You're not going to get that conviction with altcoins. So that's the second reason. Now, the third reason is altcoins, unlike Bitcoin, are subject to technological change. They're a little bit like AOL gets replaced by Yahoo, gets replaced by Google. Um, Facebook, MySpace gets replaced by Facebook. There's always some new thing with altcoins. You know, EOS was a top altcoin in 2018. And, you know, it got replaced with Solana, and Solana's going to get replaced with Sui or some other hotter, faster, uh, cheaper thing. Uh, so you don't want to be fighting technological change. Bitcoin doesn't have that problem it hasn't changed very much at all since 2010. And, um, and that's fine because it doesn't need to change. The fourth reason is um, there are, it's time. You have a limited amount of time on this planet. There are 10,000 plus altcoins. Do you have time to study all these altcoins? Uh, you know, wouldn't it be better for you just to study Bitcoin and get a, a better understanding of the top coin you can't possibly understand all the tokenomics and all the models and and really sift through all these time uh, all these co coins 
out there beyond the top hundred, say. And so it's just a complete time sink. You have better things to do with your life. Touch grass. Do something else. Uh, that's the fourth reason. The fifth reason is there's a lot of these coins that are just outright scams. And what I mean by that, I mean things like safe moon coin. You know, sounds good. It brings you to the moon safely. Uh, Celsius uh, cell token, CEL. Uh, was viewed as, oh, this is great. It's backing our thing, uh, our Celsius coin. Well, it was really a way for Alex Mashinsky to sell coins uh, and get rich personally. So th this is not, you want to avoid these scams. Bitcoin is not a scam. Bitcoin was created by Satoshi, Satoshi Nakamoto. He has never sold any. It really has a, a lot of honesty in the protocol. Um, the sixth reason is some of these things could be securities, right? The SEC hasn't completely clearly said what are securities, what aren't. Um, it said Bitcoin is not a security. Uh, it has said that. Um, but it's not even said that Ethereum is, not, quote unquote, not a security. And things like Solana, well, they may be deemed securities officially, in which case the coin could be negatively uh, affected. You don't want to buy securities. Number seven is Ponzi's. Um, you know, a lot of these altcoins are really designed as Ponzi schemes. So they do very, very well at the beginning, but then as you get closer to the middle phase, maybe that's even only a couple months since the launch of the token, you realize that you need more suckers to come in and rescue you from the coins tokenomics. So the very early people who get in the founders of the token do really well but anybody who gets in six months a year later is basically providing exit liquidity for the founders you don't want to get involved in these coins they eventually blow up um the la the night the eighth reason is a lot of these coins are deliberately complicated and you know it it takes a long time for you even, even to try to understand them. You know, there's a coin called Bonk out there. I have no idea what it does. It's a very complicated structure. You get some airdropped. You can earn some if you do X, Y, Z. Um, if you start moving NFTs, you get some. And you can spend an enormous amount of time just studying an individual coin because of the sheer complexity of the design. They're a little bit like Rube Goldberg machines. And so... The beauty of Bitcoin is the very simple uh, structure. So that's the, uh, the time factor. After hitting a high of over $66,000, Bitcoin has pulled back to around $60,000. But despite this pullback, experts remain confident as ever in Bitcoin's capabilities for a rebound. Bitcoin analyst Rekt Capital points out that Bitcoin has visited the $60,000 range multiple times in the past few months, and each time it has rebounded. According to Rekt Capital, this recent dip should not be seen as negative news, but instead a massive opportunity. If history is any indication, these kinds of pullbacks are often followed by new all-time highs. Bitcoin has done this time and time again, and that is why analysts believe it could easily shoot back up and beyond its recent $66,000 peak. What do you think? Let us know in the comments. Now let's go back to Fred Krueger. Now, the ninth uh, reason to not buy uh, altcoins is a lot of them, in fact, vast majority, are inflationary, right? So if you hold them for a, any amount of time, you realize that the token supply grows and grows and grows. And this could be because of unlocks in the founder's tokens. You know, you look at them and you say, great, this token has 100 million outstanding. Then you wait a year and you find out that they, it's 200 million because some of the founders have been unlocked after a year and you know the supply has doubled. Uh, or it could just be that they're just handing out more of the coin to everybody um, uh, over time. In any case, you don't want a coin like that. If you can avoid it, it's better to have a coin with a fixed supply. And Bitcoin is really the first cryptocurrency really with a deliberate fixed supply. And so, you know, it doesn't mean that all coins with a fixed supply are good. It's just 
you prefer a fixed supply and a lot of these coins don't have the fixed supply and finally number 10 uh you're a grown man or woman uh it's embarrassing if you're promoting a coin like um smoking chicken fish uh you you should be ashamed you know study bitcoin it's an honest coin it's something that you can talk about without um without shame and i really feel like you know you're not a you're not a 10 year old you do not need to be promoting idiotic coins like safe moon or smoking chicken fish what i'd like to point out in this video is um you're not too late right so i'm at this event it's seven thousand dollars a ticket there's two thousand people here um and you know i'm talking to a lot of a lot of and attendees and the thing i realize is all these attendees uh very few of them own bitcoin um and very few of them are even even remotely interested in bitcoin and they they sort of they've obviously heard of it they've watched it but they're, they're just not convinced and the big emotion is i'm too late right so these guys are generally pride themselves on being early to these trends and they got in early they got in at the series a they got in before you know the ipo uh they started a company they you know they're 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 early stage investors and early stage participants and for them to sit there and say you know what um i missed the first 15 years of bitcoin uh and I'm gonna get involved now. It's a little difficult for them, you know, just it's a difficult psychological perception. And um, and I heard, you know, one of them says to me, you know, listen, yeah, sure, Bitcoin's done well over the last 15 years, but you know, is it gonna do well over the next 15 years? And, you know, I've been trying to explain to them why I think it will and and you know the power law and adoption and why Bitcoin's different but you can tell that they don't really get it and they don't really believe it so all I will say is I think that there's this sort of fractal pattern this uh, of, of Bitcoin where you know at 13 uh, 2013 it, it it looked it looked expensive when it hit a thousand dollars and then you know in 2017 when it hit uh ten thousand dollars it looked very expensive you know and now here at fifty six thousand dollars it looks very expensive so it always looked and i think it'll look expensive when it hits five hundred thousand dollars um which i think it will so you know there's this general feeling that you know i missed it i'm stupid i can't invest now um among these people I don't think it's the same feeling among sort of stock market investors who just invest, you know, just invest in a bunch of stuff and okay, I'll, I'll buy some Bitcoin. That's different than this crew of people who should be involved and who should do the work and who should spend the time. They're not spending the time. So that's my, that's my post for today. I think it's really interesting. I don't think these people are going to participate. If I had to guess, I think that they're, they're going to miss out all the way on the next 10x. I just don't see them really flipping their the, the switch. Um, you know, I, I've talked to a bunch of them, but yeah, I, we'll see. We'll see. I, I, I'm not I'm not convinced that these guys will get it. It's it's interesting that even people who are much lower on the economic ladder get this a lot easier than than some of these some of these uh people attending these high high-end tech events as fred krueger said altcoins come up with different gimmicks to trick people into joining in these altcoins tend to offer flashy promises and seemingly groundbreaking innovations but in reality many of these altcoins lack the stability security and long-term potential that bitcoin has consistently shown while altcoins may boast high returns or unique features, they always rely on hype and speculation to draw attention, which can lead to quick gains 
but also devastating losses. Bitcoin, on the other hand, stands as the most trusted and decentralized cryptocurrency, with over a decade of proven reliability and resilience. As more altcoins flood the market, it's easy to get distracted, but Kruger reminds us to stay grounded and focus on the solid foundation that Bitcoin provides. After all, in the long run, Bitcoin's track record speaks for itself. Anyway guys, before we go, if you want to stay most up to date on the crypto and Bitcoin world, make sure to subscribe to my daily 5-minute crypto newsletter. It's a concise resource for the latest expert predictions, breaking news, and top on-chain analysis, trusted by over 50,000 subscribers for insightful crypto investment information. Don't miss out on the opportunity to stay informed in the crypto market. The link is in the description below. I hope you all enjoyed today's video and that it provided you with some value. I'll see you all in the next one. And as always, all the best.